Circumpolar constellations. What are constellations? Constellations are pictures in the sky that ancient astronomers used to relate groupings of stars to people, objects, or animals. Circumpolar constellations are constellations that never set. They are visible all year. There are five main circumpolar constellations in the northern hemisphere. These are Ursa Major, the Great Bear, Ursa Minor, the Little Bear, Cassiopeia, the Queen, Cepheus, the King, and Draco, the Dragon. There are three main circumpolar constellations in the southern hemisphere. These are Carina the Keel, Centaurus, Father of the Centaurs, and Crux the Southern Cross. Navigating the night sky can be difficult, but I have a few pointers that can help you find these circumpolar constellations in the northern hemisphere. The first is using the Big Dipper to find the Little Dipper. You take the two stars on the right of the cup and draw a line straight through them to Polaris, the Alpha Star and Little Dipper. You can then find Cassiopeia by continuing this line. Cepheus is also near this line. Cepheus looks like a house. Draco can be hard to find because it wraps around a lot of circumpolar constellations, but mainly a little dipper. And Crux, you connect the top and bottom star to find the South Pole. There are many myths about circumpolar constellations that simply aren't true. The first myth is that the Big Dipper is a constellation. This is not true because it is part of Ursa Major. This makes the Big Dipper an asterism. An asterism is a pattern of stars made from one or more constellations. There are a couple examples. The first is the Big Dipper, which is the body and tail of Ursa Major. And the second is the Summer Triangle, which is made from three different constellations. The North Star is also not the brightest star in the sky. The brightest star in the sky is actually Sirius. This is the Alpha Star in Canis Major. Canis Major is a constellation that is out during the winter in the United States. The North Star, Polaris, is in Ursa Minor, or the Little Dipper. It is this constellation that you find using the Big Dipper. Reading star charts can be difficult if you've never used one before. But I have a few tips to help you read them. First, this is a star chart. As you notice, north and south are on the top and bottom, but east and west are on the op wrong sides of the normal compass rows. To fix this, you would have to say face north, put north in your lap, and then east and west are fixed. And then when you hold it above your head, north, south, east, and west are once again all in the correct spaces. Star charts also have different size dots for the stars. This represents apparent magnitude, or the brightness of stars. As you can see, it goes from very bright for the small numbers to very faint, the big numbers. Absolute magnitude takes all the stars and puts them at a fixed distance from Earth to show their actual brightness. Here's a small graphic showing the difference. In constellations, astronomers describe the brightness with Greek letters, alpha being the brightest and continuing through the alphabet. As you can see in this star chart, alpha is the brightest star, as well as this. Alpha and beta are the brightest stars with the biggest dots. Thank you for watching.